Geiger tells us the drug called lovastatin could be the magic bullet in avoiding heart attacks. Well, first of all, Kelly, it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But for people with serious cholesterol problems, it could be their answer. Since the FDA approved lovastatin last September, a new study has just come out comparing it to other cholesterol-lowering drugs. No other drug is easier to take or works better than lovastatin. No one knows better than Nathan Thomas. He needed a heart transplant last year. A big part of his heart trouble was skyrocketing cholesterol. But careful self-control over uh, his gravy. diet. No, no, no gravy. No gravy. Uh, Brussels sprouts. And a daily dose of lovastatin has made a dramatic difference in Nathan's health, dropping his cholesterol by as much as 150 points. Uh, they had me on another cholesterol medicine that didn't work. It just irritated my stomach. And then uh, when they put me on the lovastatin, everything seemed just, for me, just worked beautiful. Nathan's experience matches more than 200 patients who took lovastatin as part of a medical research project. Published in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, researchers found lovastatin more effective and better tolerated than traditional cholesterol-lowering drugs. Dr. Martin Weston prescribes lovastatin for five patients, reducing cholesterol in all of them by as much as 30%. Uh, I'm not sure it's a magic bullet, but it's definitely uh, on the way to getting a magic bullet. Yes. Lovastatin is the first of a new class of drugs that repress the liver from making cholesterol. As the liver produces less, it absorbs more LDL, or bad cholesterol, from the bloodstream, preventing blockages in arteries. But taking just a single pill a day won't do it alone. Patients also must follow a low cholesterol diet. Nathan Thomas has learned well. You know, you can't use it like a, a crutch to lean on and say, hey, I'm going to go out and eat uh, steak and eggs. You just can't do it. Now, while lovastatin has considerably less side effects than traditional cholesterol drugs, those who take it can experience rash, nausea, heartburn, and headache. It can also affect the liver. But so far, it's working pretty well for most people. I suppose uh, in conjunction with your doctor, it would just have to be a trial and error type thing. Oh, yeah, thing. definitely. Okay, definitely. Steve, thanks. Have a good weekend. You too. Okay. Time now to rejoin sports director Andy Hardy, who's at the Bucks training camp. Oh,